this story is important to tell, um, first of all, because of the history of these types of communities. We have Seneca Village in what was once Central Park in New York, Rosewood in Florida, Greenwood in Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, you know, looking into these communities that were built post reconstruction because African Americans didn't have access to banks or schools, support systems coming out of slavery. So they had to build their own communities and support themselves. And these were thriving communities that were all systematically destroyed. These characters are essentially the descendants, maybe not genetically, but they are coming from that same space of wanting to build for themselves um, a community where you actually know your neighbors. You know, you know the person who's growing your food, have a direct relationship with all of these people who are involved in so many aspects of your lives. And that is something that I think more people are seeking. There are communes that are springing up all over the country. And our story lends to the idea that that's something that we're growing away from, even though most people live in very populated areas, they may not even know the person right next door. And now, you know, this story is honoring that need to get back to community relationships.